Today I'd like to share a blog post that I recently wrote and published on June 14th, 2024 for my website, Roburium. You can find it at roburium.com. Just wanted to kind of read what I wrote um, so that you can kind of hear what I had to say on this channel as well. It's titled, My Struggles with Dating and Getting Out There as an Introverted Man with a Latex and Rubber Fetish. So one year ago, I came out to my parents as bisexual, letting them know that I was more interested in dating men and seeing what happens. A year on, I haven't had that much progress on the dating front. I also haven't gotten out there to meet new people very much. Before I touch on my recent struggles with dating, I want to reflect on my dating history. I'm pretty new to the dating scene, really. I had girls ask me out in junior high, and I refused all of them because I was scared in most cases, or I just didn't share that mutual attraction. I dated twice in high school, with neither relationship lasting more than a few months. In college, there were girls that I had crushes on, many of whom I worked with, so it felt wrong to ask. And I was pretty shy about it, though others took notice on two occasions and encouraged me. I never did ask anyone on a date, though. I came close a few times. I was more focused on school and maintaining my good friendships at the time. This is one of my biggest regrets, as I later found out that multiple people had crushes on me, and I was too blind to see it or just too shy to act on it. Around this time, I found myself questioning what my sexuality was. I found some well-known actors attractive, but I suppressed my feelings and told myself that it was no different than others having male crushes. I also knew full well about my latex and rubber fetish, so I wrote off my attraction to those wearing rubber as my fetish for the clothing. And within a year, I had moved to a new state, leaving all of my friends behind. This should have been a new opportunity to meet new people and date, but I never got out there in 2018 or 2019. And when I finally started to feel comfortable in the area, COVID struck, and I found myself staying away from others for the most part, like most people. I was on dating apps, but it was always odd to me. Most women in Utah were Mormon, and I had no intention of becoming religious or adhering to those values. Furthermore, I was already conflicted about my sexuality, and it only continued to grow. Not to mention, this entire time, I knew that I had this latex and rubber fetish, and there was no way to get rid of it. Whoever I ended up with would need to accept me for who I am, and I was afraid of having that conversation. Still, I tried. I swiped on the dating apps and only got one or two matches the entire time. I guess women in Utah either didn't find me attractive, which I get it, I don't even find myself very attractive, um, or they were just scared by the fact that I wasn't Mormon, because that is a big deal there. When I left Utah, I hoped that I'd have better luck dating in a state that wasn't so LDS influenced. So coming back home, I was excited about that prospect, but I was also so busy with work and family, that I didn't hop onto any dating apps immediately. Plus, I knew that I was likely bisexual, or somewhere in the realm between bisexual and gay. I came out as bisexual on June 1st, 2023, to my parents. I later told my immediate family and some close friends and co-workers. This was enough to make me feel comfortable with starting to date men and seeing what happens. At this point, I was 26, and I hadn't dated in years. I felt like a complete failure, but this was a chance for a new beginning. After coming out, I started using dating apps to try and find a match. It took a minute, but I eventually started getting matches, particularly on Tinder and Bumble. I chatted with a few guys, but most never replied to my initial messages after we matched. One of my biggest issues with dating now is that you can match with someone on these apps, but they never write to you or reply to your messages. Why match if you aren't going to at least say hello? Look, I'm as introverted as they come. I stress over every message, about getting things wrong, asking the wrong questions, or not asking enough questions. I don't enjoy interacting with strangers, or being vulnerable with those that I don't know. 
even knowing that I published this blog post and I'm going to publish this video is pretty stressful. But I still try to initiate a conversation, even if I fumble it. If only others would give me the 10 seconds it takes to reply or tell me that they aren't interested anymore. To illustrate my point, I uh, listed a bunch of the matches that I had on dating apps in my blog post. And most of them, like I said, had no reply. Uh, a few people I did chat with, um, and they never really went anywhere. I, I did eventually go on a date with a guy. Um, I had been chatting with him for weeks, and it was a lot of fun. And I thought we really connected, but he was quite busy with work and school. And me being an introvert, my replies weren't always timely. And I tended to overthink my replies, and I think that was pretty obvious. He ended up telling me that he didn't think things would work out, and I agree, but it was a disappointing end to some really good conversations we had been having. I joined lots of new dating apps, uh, Archer, Facebook Dating, Hinge. I downloaded Grindr, but I'm so confused by the terrible user interface and functionality. Like seriously, who designed that app? It's awful, so I don't use it. And there's also Recon and FetLife. FetLife isn't really a dating app. Uh, Recon isn't necessarily either, but you can. Um, the issue with Grinder and Recon is that everyone just wants to fuck or meet up in rubber for some play, but I really want to take things slower than that. I want to get to know someone and establish a connection. This might make me come off as uninterested. That leaves me mostly on Facebook, Archer, and Tinder. Facebook dating is also absolute garbage. It shows you people who don't live near you despite the filters. So why am I relying on these dating apps, and why can't I go meet people the old-fashioned way? So first, workplaces kind of used to be a place where you might meet somebody new. However, I work from home, and I spend most of my time at home meeting nobody. Second, I don't have many friends anymore, so meeting new people is really challenging. You know, who am I going to go to bars with? Nobody. So I stay home, or hang out with my family, or go on hikes and just enjoy the great outdoors. So the past year has seen many attempts at messaging people, getting ignored, and only going on one date. Not good, especially for my mental health. And then just recently I attended the first uh, Seattle Rubbermen meetup. Um, and that was a lot of fun. I met a lot of people there. Um, but I didn't really approach that situation, you know, and like the intention of meeting someone to date. I was just kind of having good conversations and hoping to make some new friends. So. Who knows where any of those connections would go or, you know, what, but that wasn't really kind of the topic that I was bringing up with people. I was just more interested in just getting to know people. So there's some hope on the horizon. So that's what dating has been like for me. Lots of silence, not really getting out there to meet new people, and just trying to find my soulmate in an era where people don't seem interested in a more traditional monogamous relationship. I haven't given up hope, but it is discouraging.